Welcome to the OLV Daily Meditation for Monday, May 18th. In today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we hear about a woman named Lydia. And this reading explains how she became a follower of Jesus Christ. It reads, One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth, came from the city of Thyatira, a worshiper of God. She listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. Now, as I mentioned, this passage describes how Lydia came to the decision to be baptized in the faith. She was described as a worshiper of God, but it was clear that the Lord had something more in store for her. She was being beckoned through the words of Paul to go deeper and commit to Jesus Christ. But there's a couple other things we can observe about her from this reading. Lydia was probably quite wealthy. This observation can be drawn from the description of her being a dealer in purple cloth. Because in the ancient world, purple was only worn by royalty or those who were rich because purple cloth was hard to make. The purple dye was made from sea snails, so people would have to collect thousands upon thousands of these snails to make the dye just for one item. And since Lydia dealt in this expensive cloth, she had wealth. The second observation is is that she was generous as well. Her offer to have Paul and his companions come and live with her was truly a generous offer, especially as it seemingly they just met. But also in the ancient world, when you were the guest of someone else, they provided you with everything. So Lydia provided everything for Paul and his companions. And this would have been an extremely generous offer. So I highlight these realities about Lydia, but Again, these factors would probably not have mattered to the apostles. They, given their mandate from the Lord at the end of the the Gospels, to go out and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and to go preach and teach and sanctify in the name of Christ, they did this to everyone. They met everyone. So they were simply spreading the word of God and... Lydia came into their life. Now, if you'd, if you'd step back and think for a second, if you were apostles trying to go out and spread the news of Christ, maybe you would want to go to the rich people. Maybe you would want to go to the influential people of communities. Maybe you would want to talk to the people in power. But, again, that's not what Christ did in his own ministry. He went to everyone the rich and the poor, the powerful and powerless, the significant and the insignificant. And since the apostles were faithful to the mandate they were given to go out and spread the news of Christ to everyone, God blessed them abundantly by bringing Lydia into their lives, and there's no doubt that she was blessed by having them in her home and in her life. And the apostles in a example that we need to follow would have been glad to talk with whomever God put in their way whoever God brought into their lives so this example of Lydia and the interaction with the apostles helps us to understand that we are called to interact with everyone in order to spread the word of God Now, in our current situation of isolation, many of us would probably talk to anyone who'd come through our doors these days. But what we have to realize is that in the past, many of us probably shied away from people, even avoided people, just to not have that conversation that maybe we need to have. But as we look towards the future, it's my prayer that all of us are open to receiving and welcoming everyone, and also having conversations about faith with everyone. Because the Lord wants to bless us as he blessed 
both the apostles and Lydia in their interaction. Again, we just have to be open to always welcoming, supporting, and trying to be supportive of those who come into our life. And the Lord will abundantly bless those relationships and bring about amazing things. So please know my continued thoughts and prayers for all of you. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.